Hey hi guys welcome to cafe ayu cafe ayu mein aapka swagat hai in today's video we will talk about solara which is a web framework with completely pythonic and if you're coming from the world of streamlit you will find yourself right at home with a lot of improvements let's get started so the website is completely written in the framework itself it's called solara and it's built on couple of other frameworks like reacton which are which is kind of powering this and we'll discover about that in a moment now what solara is is it lets you build web apps using python and they can be either in the form of jupyter widgets or completely react like code and we'll we'll take a look at a sample app right now it has very low complexity you have the best of both worlds python plus react and you can run it in jupyter notebooks as well so let's let's get moving and quickly see a demo so what i have is vs code uh, so sorry this is by chance i have some very sample and little code written so you just import the library you have some declarations to do for example you declare a sentence you have word limit notes that you know this is called using solara.reactive and then what you have is a component which is called page and this is what is the core element of a page so we have word count where we are using a slider to maintain the length you can see those slider and input text here and displays the message basis some word counts so that's pretty much it right this is a simple web app which i've pulled now the way you run it is solara run solara example.py or whatever is your file name and it pulls up an app at your local host 8765 and you see like this is how the app looks it's a very simple app it might remind you of streamlit and we'll take a deep dive into you know how it is different and actually better so you have a very naturally reactive component where you have moving the sliders and it is interactively changing all right so that's the demo there can be more complexities around it let's let's try to get into more deeper conversations So what is Solara really? It's an open source library that can help you build a lot of data focused app. Now it it integrates with the complete ecosystem, be it Jupyter notebooks or be it production grade web frameworks like FastAPI, Flask, etc. It is built upon existing standards, so that is kind of really good and useful. And you know this is a very simple, quick example about Solara. And this is what I just showed. Right, this is a much smaller version. but i just probably added a little bit more code to it now let's say let, let's take the design and understand how it works so you have the browser yeah how do you get to the browser you are either using notebook or lab or what jupyter and you have different api frameworks like fast api flask whatsoever and then there's solara sitting on top which is kind of talking to fast api and flask if you want it to and then on the very top you have the solara ui which is made up of components and hook which sits on top of reacton and can nicely interact with multiple different libraries you know charting libraries plotting libraries and we'll take a look at the demos that we have why should you care very important question if you use jupyter and if you want to make more interactive graphs plots charts or web apps this is for you If you are not from Jupyter and if you are DevOps, MLOps tools, you want to build tool chains, etc., you can also leverage this. So that's what Solara is. We will probably go to comparing it with Streamlit. And the most important, you know, part to understand with Streamlit is when you load Streamlit, you typically execute the whole code. The best part about Solara is there's a two-way binding between the UI. and the data or rather the state so what happens is solara would not re execute your whole script after a user interacts which happens a lot of time in you know a uh, streamlet now what this enables is this enables multiple different components like for example two different components and you know you can control the state of one component and the other does not change and it's not actually reloading the entire page So this way you have much more control over the UI and for instance you want to load the data in a tab while showing you know charts and plots you can achieve that so that's that's how this is so that's what solara is let's probably go to uh, 
looking a little bit of examples in solar there's there's tons of solar examples guides that we can check out uh yeah let's go to showcase so you know this website itself is there you have a website called domino code assist which is a tool developed for this you have tessa which is powering this bulk labeling is a tool which is powering this and we'll, we'll take a look at them when once they load so yeah you see this is a whole website which is powered by solar and looks pretty neat you see there's different pieces different moving components that has been used and you it's built on top of solar so quite nice uh, this is an example for bulk labeling which is built in solar i don't think it has a running version now but you can always deploy on the cloud and check it out finally going to the core or the examples so you have some basic examples which we saw since it's a full scaled uh, it's a component it has you know authorization and authentication built in something like a very responsive ui where you know, the screen size changes you it, it changes you can have full width you can have half width you can have resize etc etc Let's look at more complex example. You have multi-page example. You have scatter plots. Multi-page examples are very really useful if you, you know, want to do something else in different pages. Kind of important if you are trying to build on the whole website, which, uh, in my experience, has been a very challenging feat to achieve in Streamlit. So you are generating, you know, some sample data set, and you're generating scatter plot for this. This is kind of cool. I think this is a plotty style graph which is you know very interactive and nice so this looks very much like what you would get in streamlit but as you can see even this is running on my code it's really fast let's check out some more components so you have an integration with streamlit itself that you can do you can also use it to deploy model you have some OAuth setups and you also have some view components there's tons of visualization integrations like Altair, BQ plot and utilities that you can set you have building a to-do app there's, there's, there's tons of different kind of apps that uh you know that has been baked into it for for simplicity so yeah that's what solara is and if you are interested in you know building a new app or quickly prototyping an idea where you want to not go towards streamlit or have something better and more complex this is a great framework for you so thank you for listening if you like the video Please do subscribe. Bye-bye.